because you know that is at the center. Please, family members, can you come? Can you come? Today is your day. You are welcome. You are welcome, sons and mans. You may have your seats and allow. Again, in the hall, we have 10 very eminent members of our faculty, the Faculty of Technology. And uh, as well as by extension, the university community. Uh, I, have, I have the permission of the chair by the today's occasion to recognize the purpose of a college of uh, postgraduate study in the person of Professor Victor Olale. A round of applause. This, this great the front seat, Sam. The front seat. Thank you very much. Also, in the house, I can see quite a number of. Yes, I recognize um, Professor Engineer Lavo at A number of applause. Please come to the front seat. Please. I also recognize Professor Femi Taiwo, round of applause. Please write down the position to the conference. I saw much earlier, yes, the Professor of yes, where is that? And I see, yes, please, the wife of the transit. Okay, because of our time, uh, we'll just move on and uh, we still don't have more time to recognize uh, other distinguished members of the community. Um, the next item now is to we'll welcome the address of the chairman in the person of Professor Vera Bonner. The round of applause. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am standing before you to represent the vice chancellor of this university, um, Professor Adebayo Sinyan Bamire, in terms of standing vice chancellor of Open Neuro University. Um, he sends the greetings. I participate with uh, my father, Professor Kuku, and the family. And he asked me to deliver his speech. But before I do that, I have uh, to recognize people that are already in this hall. Let me start by thanking God for the life of uh, Professor Kuku in this university and beyond. And on that note, I want to recognize observing protocol to some extent and I deviate. Uh, I want to recognize all the vice chancellors here present, especially my father here. You're welcome, sir. A lot of applause for me. All the best chancellors that you are recognized. I especially want to recognize our father, the first and founder vice chancellor of the University of Rio. Uh, we sang for him the other time. I won't want us to repeat it. But a round of applause, very rich one of you. The back of the You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. We really appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. I also have 
one of our fathers, the founding fathers of this university here. When I mentioned his name, Professor Polada says he said, I want to talk to you when I came in 1969. And it's a person of a professor in memory. So I want to you. are happy with you. We are getting by you. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Um, so I want to thank you all for being here. Um, thank you for the registrar of this university. Uh, mm -hmm. This is progress. It do almost with a grant of applause for you. Thank 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 you. The University of Science, yeah. Uh, Mr. Anjashina, our own commissioner of finance. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. The librarian will soon join us. Uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic um, is not on ground. Um, the Vice Chancellor is also official assignment outside in there. Um, I want to recognize. The Provost College of Earth Sciences. The Provost, especially recognized the Provost Postgraduate College, Professor Olamide. Let recognize um, all the things in this hall this morning, and especially the Dean of Tech, Tupamala Lijuki. Thank you for meeting us and thank you for supporting our program. All the deans present, all the directors of units, all the HODs, uh, all the faculty secretary, especially the faculty secretary, um, the faculty of tech, Mr. Kane, am I correct? Is he here? A round of applause for him. Um, I also want to thank God and recognize family members of uh, Professor Koku that are already seated. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen of the press. Uh, on behalf of Professor Bamira, the Vice Chancellor, I welcome you all to this university. Those who have been here before, and those who are just coming for the first time. It is a thing of joy when one starts a journey of his career and retire in good and sound health. The way we're um, witnessing it today in the lives of um, Professor Kuku and the family. It is only God that spears one's life. It is in the celebration of such successful voyage that our heritage professor of electronic materials and devices, Professor Titi Lyon Adela Jakoko, who is uh, fondly called by some of us, Professor Titi Koko, um, is presenting this valedictory lecture on the topic travels through the world of outdoor electronic materials and devices. It does, it does sound like a memoir for those who are studying and those who aspire to navigate the corridors he has passed through. Professor Koko has seen beauty as a graphic assistant on the 1st of August, 1976, a round of applause for him. For a joke, 1978, in the then University of Utah, now of Upper Bell University, he rose through the rank to the position of professor the 1st of October, 1998, a round of applause for him. And by the grace of God, by today, he has put in. 46 years of meritorious service in this prestigious university. And then what you see here, I'm not going to explain. What you see here is not fair. If you consider 
if you consider what people are going through in this country, because it seems that is not very in Nigeria. <laughs> So they may fail in another country. But in Nigeria, what is this year is not great. <laughs> Thank you very much. So um that's uh, what God has helped me to really uh, achieve. Um Professor Kuku is an outstanding and a renowned scholar of international refuge in the academia and professional practices. He was indeed the president Sora Eni Energy Society of Nigeria, November 2007 to November 2011. He is a fellow of the Solar Energy Society of Nigeria, fellow Material Society of Nigeria, member Nigeria Society of Engineers, member World Renewable Energy Network Reading Retreat and Reading. And needless to say, he is a current registered engineer. One of our Please, I talk a few testimonials of his professional relevance and active leadership. He is a teacher of teachers, a mentor of mentors, and a leader by excellence. So, it is clearly evident the magnitude of his impact on the image. Of this university. Another of applause for me. Although Professor Titi Kuku had his advanced training, MSc and PhD degrees in London. After obtaining his first degree BSc chemistry in this university, he kept faith with promise and returned home to so equip his knowledge and skills on imparting his competencies and the generation uh, after him, on the generation after him, some of whom are here today. So here in the game. In course of his services, Professor Kuku was um, Professor Kuku rose from being a very uh, reliable and resourceful young academic to be one of the becoming one of the most celebrated leader in this university. He was the head of the department, elect elect, from August 2000 to September 2004. Dean, Public of Technology, August 2008 to 2012. That's serving two times. He was the chairman of UTLB committee for three consecutive years, 2011, 2012, and 2013. And in actual fact, the e exam, the electronic exam we, we, we have now in the university uh, was first mentioned and uh, proposed in uh, his time as the chairman of that committee. Professor Kuku has contributed in no small measure to so the development uh, of the Department of Elect Elect, the faculty and the university at large. Uh, Baba, you are well appreciated for all this. A round of applause for you. I want to join our uh, other colleagues to rejoice with you on this occasion of yours and of your retirement from the services of Papa Premier World University. Although, you are retiring, you are not tired, as is evident the way uh, you look at your seated this morning, it shows that you are not tired at all. We can we can see sleep people in you, and then we can see that even as you are stepping aside, you are just stepping aside, we can call on you anytime, you can call on you anytime, the woman has this up. A lot of applause for that one. Because your sisters are looking very young. Now that you are joining the group of elder statement, I pray that God will relieve your energy. You will not experience any sorrow in your retirement. All what you have labored for in life will not perish. Your children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren will surround you on your table and give you more joy. So shall it be. 
Above all, God is in his infinite mercies to give you good health to live long to further enjoy his mercy. Distinguished audience, at this political lecture, I want you to sit back and enjoy the nuggets of wisdom in the world of optical electronic materials and devices. I do hope to find many city like your cuckoos imagine after this event to extend these frontiers of knowledge beyond what he has so far achieved and professed. Those who may not have been here for appreciable length of time are invited to take a few hours in exploring the grandeur you have so often heard about. Great event being the most beautiful university campus in Africa and one of the forward looking universities in the world. Of Apemiaudo University is one unique place where knowledge, skills, and aesthetics play an intriguing profession and thereby promoting the ideologies of its founding fathers and mothers on academic, agriculture, and aesthetics. Those who didn't study in Obatamia University, there is still room for you. After this lecture, because I know you will be highly motivated, you're welcome on board. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor of uh, OE, once again, I welcome you all to this historic occasion and thank you for your attendance. Thank you very much. I will appreciate the chance of the Thank you very much. Before we listen to the presentation, the um, lecture from the celebrant of today, uh, one very distinguished personality was in while uh, the chairman was making his speech. So, publicly, the chair, sir, to recognize the few more. Uh, his Jewish members. Uh, while the chairman was making his speech, the former vice chancellor of Abraham University walked in majestically. And um, he gets his name is engineer professor Michael Olaji Pupu. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> On my list here, I also would like to recognize the promise of our College of Health Sciences. I saw him working his name, Professor Colaboli. This right of Thank you very much. It's a delight to have you here. To my right here, I'd like to recognize Professor of History, Professor Kevin Rossi. The former Chief Medical Director of uh, Teaching Hospital here, um, Professor Alex Murray. I can see you. Yeah. To my right there, yeah. uh, we have seated quietly Professor Fauci, Professor Abiodu Obudain. A round of applause. Again, because this event is being held um, on the internet, so it's not just physical, we have quite a number of um, participants, um, yeah, on, um, attendance online. So we'd like to recognize a few of you, so I'm not going to mention all the names. Um, I have online, uh, just wave your hand if you're there. Uh, I think Dodger, you're welcome. Our friend already, I think okay, you're welcome. Dr. Mutisola, I've won 
Hold on, everyone. You're welcome, Dr. Buki. I can see that. Uh, Fakul Lujo, Francis, uh, Michael Lujo, Obotaira, and Reverend Shola, Osi Fayomi, Professor Rose Osuji, just to mention a few. Um, we welcome you. We thank you for being part of this uh, occasion. Um, in the Faculty of Technology, uh, I think a number of the faculty members are here, and uh, I can see Thomas D. Professor Akerejo, you're welcome, sir. I can see to my right here, Professor Adio, you're welcome. Professor Ajayi, former Deputy Vice Chancellor at the Institute. Would you stand up for recognition, Professor Adam? Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I'm also reliably informed here that uh, Professor Akiva is director of Center for Energy and Research. Where are you, sir? You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. All deans of faculty. I'm sorry, I do not need to mention the name because of time. If you are here, you are welcome. Head of departments in the department in the faculty of ethnology, you are welcome. It also includes me. I welcome myself. I especially welcome the head of department of the second round of today. And all Professor T. A. Kuku's students, former and current students, we are here. Wave your hands. I was once at the former student of Kuku, so I was my hand. I went for myself. Former student of Professor Kuku, we are here. We are proud to be welcome to the PDC. Hello, we are here. Former students, anywhere in the world. Hello, we love you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, and then who am I going to see when my chair says I should recognize many more? So I'll go ahead and do that. I want to recognize the former former CNG of our teaching of hospital complex, Professor Akinola. So we can one of the Thank you very much. This is a you're not getting this what in here, so I, I remember that. Okay. Okay, we we'll have some more time to, to do that. And so that I, I do not want to delay for that, because I know that we are all sitting in here and we want to listen to the celebrant speak to us. And so, I have the similar honor of the chair to invite the celebrant of the day. And the next one. Okay, that's one. Thank you very much, Professor Titi Lyra and Dean Lyra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
the program uh, substantive to the professor Kuku was in the faculty of technology of Afemia University, August 2008 to uh, July 2012. During his as dean, the faculty of technology annual conference was initiated. And the conference is still ongoing today. So Professor Ubu has served the department and the faculty, the university, and the nation in numerous other capacities. Uh, I don't want to go on and on, but <laughs> it's a long list. <laughs> so uh, we believe them just uh, service within the department organization of departmental student staff seminar. Various years, uh, departmental meeting secretary, departmental council, uh, chairman, uh, staff welfare chairman, student industrial attachments coordinator for multiple years, head of departments, and PG uh, committee uh, advisor. Service within the faculty uh, is a member of faculty provided student seminar organizing committee going back in 283, one sessions, chairman, a faculty representative on Senate Committee on Center for Energy Research and Development, a departmental representative on faculty research committee, a faculty representative on committee Senate on technological training scheme, a faculty representative on board of engineering physics, and also faculty representative on Senate Committee on Relations with Overseas Institutions. Uh, faculty Board of Science, the member, faculty representative of, of Selection Committee of the Faculty Board of Science. And so I'm skipping things here. So then there's also service within the university, because the member of Senate, University Environmental Control Group is the chairman, Project Advisory Committee, is the chairman. Uh, chairman Technical Staff Placement Committee, Chairman uh, University Post UTME Committee, Chairman Faculty Review Committee, uh, Member Management Board, uh, Center for Energy Research and Development, and so on. Uh, also, Member Appointment and Promotions Committee, Senate Committee on Relationship with Other Institutions. So, uh, concerning national services. Uh, Professor Kuku is a member of the Management Board of Technology Screening uh, Scheme, representing the EU, and member of the National Policy Group on Photovoltaic Development, the Energy Commission of Nigeria in Africa, the member of the National Expert Committee on Microelectronics Development and Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, Africa, Vice President Solar Energy Society of Nigeria, President Solar Energy Society of Nigeria. Uh, State President, uh, President. <laughs> President Council for Renewable Energy of Nigeria. And uh, so he has also organization of national seminars, workshops, and exhibitions on renewable energy technologies as the president of Solar Energy Society of Nigeria and the Council for Renewable Energy in collaboration with Energy Commission of Nigeria. So he has also been involved with the standard organization of Nigeria, and he has been involved with curriculum development for engineering programs at the NUC uh, in Abuja. So he has also been a member of the National Coordinating Committee on Master's Program in Nuclear Energy, National Nuclear Energy Commission in Abuja, and member of the Institution Panel at the University of Abuja. He is uh, an excellent examiner and assessor for many universities in Nigeria. So, uh, Professor Kuku is a registered fellow of the Solar Energy uh, Society of Nigeria and was the president in 2007 to 2011. He was also the president council for renewable energy of Nigeria. He is a member of the following uh, organization: Material Society of uh, Material Society of Nigeria, Science. Association of Nigeria, Nigeria Society of Engineers, International Energy Foundation, World Renewable Energy Network, National Energy Consultative Group, 
and Energy Commission of Nigeria. Also, is a member of the International Society of Electrochemistry in the USA, International Society of Optical Engineering, SPIE, in the USA, National Semiconductor Materials Consultative Group of the National Agency of Science and Energy Infrastructure, NACENI. He is also a member of the International Association of Energy Economics, Renewable and Alternative Energy Society uh, of Nigeria. And he's an associate uh, of the Institution of Electrical Engineering. So uh, that is a very short. <laughs> so I have to present to you uh, the speaker, the celebrant, uh, Professor Isla.
you know, on my own side, I just uh, find strong points for my mom. But uh, as long as we have it, I'm the only one surviving at this level. But after I did this, this young lady, who is the first child in the family after me, in terms of uh, the eldest child in the family, to my most senior brother, this is Polisha um, Ariel. So, there are a number of other people here that really I want to appreciate. Members of my family, can you please stand up? My children, my children who are putting this thing together, because what I was just told was to do some rights. You know, and every other thing I felt was to me, that it's only uh, there are no more opportunities to improve all of my health and safety. And my uh, other brothers, uh, children, the people are appreciated that they're welcome. I'm going to say to this guy, the musician, I was singing of one to one to one. Why is here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank Well, as we say, the rest is history. 
I said consecutive exam entered admission to the universities of Guinea and Ife. And they got admitted at Ife to reach theology. At the time, at the time I was applying to Ife, my brother, who was going to be responsible for my face, was away to the US. By the time we returned, and on the time that I had been admitted to read, was not that happy for the personal reasons. This consequently informed my change of to reading minus chemistry, for which I have no regrets. My sojourn in the department of chemistry was most worthy. Uh, incidentally, one of the shiftings in my family of uh, so the cuckoo has just walked in. Um, and that's my own experience. Uh, this possibility is not my theory of wisdom or not chemistry, for which I have no regrets. My subject in the final chemistry was. Most rewarding. I ended up being the editor of the Israel Chemist, the presenting of the Israel Chemical Society of the Department. I invited them to the rigors of research in my family, the Air Research Project, one of the two things of the very intelligent as of A and D. Now, also of this memory, we did some works on the mechanism and reactor characteristics of certain organic compounds. The result of the work was so encouraging that we started to get public in Japan in both our names in the transactions of that society. This constituted my first general activity. I had my national service called Program in Lagos, Lagos State. There is some story to this. For those of my colleagues who will be, who will still remember. I was up already singing to them in class during a final year that for the NYCO, I'll be starting in other states. And also mention the particular school to which I will be posted for my primary assignment. I was so confident. This came about because I also had a senior, a senior in secondary school by the name now Professor Cindy Adam. Who has also been listening on the uh, online? That is the former DTC uh, administration, University of Lagos, for whom my trend of life has been tiny with his. He was the best student in his sex. I became so in mine. The offices he held in school are held. <laughs> He studied chemistry at QI. I also did at Kiva. He was a legal student for NYC. After he graduated, I, I, a year ahead of him. He was a legal student for NYC and served at the school I was proposing. As it turned out, I was pushed to that school. I was pushed to legal seats and for primary assignments. The school I mentioned. As it turned out, I could not eventually serve the school because I reported late uh, other youth compounds and already reported. So, my life and that of Professor Lalo has been fairly uh, similar. The only difference was I became a university chancellor and did not. <laughs> but when I had the bachelor, I had the PC, the PC with it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Towards the end of the MIC year, information came that the chemistry department would be interested in some of us coming back as very assistant to subsequently pursue our prospective programs in the department. At the same time, I have information that I have been additionally turned down for the two new programs coming up in the US, 
Maybe the nuclear engineering program, at the Center for Energy Research and Development, and the Michael Lewis program, the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering. My major choice of joining the Michael Lewis program was made easy by the fact that we were there, who I will have had my military training with, suddenly resigned and went to US. As for the nuclear engineering program, my sister in law, Sister India, October, Dr. Mrs. Kuku, advised me against it. They are going to be making bombs. I knew my dad can be careless. Don't go into it. So I'm saying then, because my dad and Professor, I do different parts. So I went to my family school. I was very experienced. I joined the Microsoft Research Group for the Department of Presentation and Effect Engineering after the year I see in August 1976 as a chemist of the group. The interest here was the development and production of silicon based electronic devices. After the transistors, dials, and other devices are already being produced in this street and integrated form. Since we had no import silicon, we had a lot of projects around it. It was in the present moment that this is a very strong factor now in the production of devices because there's a lot of politics about the silicon, which is a bigger tool, a bigger material in the production of devices. This, this, um, since we had import, import silicon, we had a lot of projects around it. Even to this present day, we therefore sought out to produce our silicon of our own. This we were able to do mostly by myself and Professor Daddy Poshatana, who again is not here to give us his day. I'm the dean of the Indian University at the Army of the Administration of the Program. We produce silicon from the book of that sample. Through an aluminum reduction process at high temperature. Unfortunately, we could not proceed further, so the growth of single crystals needed for devices development due to equipment limitations and financial constraints. As I stated sometime before during my inaugural lecture in 2006, our microtronics laboratory at IFE came ahead of its time. This was so because we found it difficult to make the necessary progress in further development of silicon based devices because of financial constraints. I'm happy to note, however, that we have made good progress in the study of other materials and the development of devices from them, as I shall present because of this. Although I was employed as a chemist to the group, there was still the need for me to further train and possibly convert to engineering as so as to contribute more to the development of our group. So I think this objective, efforts are made by late Professor Ian Williams, the very head of our group, and being part of technology to seek admission for me overseas. I was subsequently admitted to MSc program in electronics. At the Environment of Electronics, University of Southampton, England, which had one of the best programs in microelectronics in the UK at that time. Normally, the session starts in the UK from 10th September. Unfortunately, my letter of admission was made in college, so I could not join the class until November 1977. It can therefore be seen that I dealt with some handicap. To God be the glory, I completed the program with my colleagues. There was some story to this, however. We were to have that the course of success examination in December 1977. I had two handicaps. For one, I was late in coming on the course. Secondly, I read the exam timetable wrongly. So I was late. To report paper. These issues destabilized me greatly. 
to the extent that I talk on very poorly in the examination. I was so discouraged that I was already thinking of returning to Nigeria. I didn't even receive the Professor Williams to notify him and also inform him, inform some of my grad assistant friends that they may be seeing TT back home soon. The response from uh, one of my friends, now Professor and Jemala Kukuni, I think he's here. Uh, Professor Kukuni, can you speak? So my, my statement that I'm going to, as you will see, so I've got you. Professor Kukuni of Laute, although it's not his man, I see him, he's kind of who said, and I quote, all money that come for history, you just have to pay a seat. This sector gave me so much talent on one hand and encouragement on the other. But at the end, I performed so very well. By the course of later, Mr. Wilson ended up writing a very grand report on my behalf to the authorities of the university for the continuation of my program to be in In certain things, I was attached to the Microtronic micro Laboratory for my MSG research project. At that time, the complexity of the semiconductor devices was increasing, especially in the late 1970s, where the move was from large scale integration to very large scale integration. The need arose for multi level data lines for devices interconnects. Visually, aluminum metal lines arranged through vacuum evaporation or by the phosphoric process were mostly used. While silicon dioxide and silicon monoxide were found to be adequate for modern and solution of device surfaces for better lives. The thermal cycle associated with the uh, deposition of this dielectric equipment was found to affect device performance. Consequently, we set into multilateral devices con connection studies that would eliminate the thermal cycle process for undertaking. My most my modest contribution then was the development of a two-level neutralization system that involved the partial analyzation of the aluminum interconnection field, such that the ensuing aluminum oxide can be used as a dielectric and hence an adequate electrical resolution medium between layers of conducting aluminum interconnection. One recent development, however, involved the use of chemical vapor deposition or silicon, silicon dioxide or silicon nitride on um, polyamide. I was supervised for the project by Mr. Dean B. Smith, and I will naturally have continued him for my PhD research work. He joined the department from the industry. Unfortunately, at the end of that session, he chose to return to the industry. There were other colleagues of his that I, I could have chosen to supervise my work. However, the report from other college students on the character of these people did not give me my authority. I had some colleagues from South Africa, also from Kenya, who are spending their first 50 years in the department for their PhD program. So I, I felt I didn't have that no city of time and finance. So I decided to look elsewhere. I therefore saw admission at two other schools, also strong with my electronics program, namely the Department of Electrical Engineering at the University of Manchester East and the Imperial College of Science and Technology London. I was offered admission at both and chose the Imperial College, firstly for the name of and prestige of the school, and secondly, because I have developed some interest. In the working, the working with programming of green of the green function field and the inventor of oxide based 
I would say this was the event that the Lady Army made in my life. This event time every other year at the SCP. I was not only a participant and the earliest in this, but from 1989, I was appointed as a resident coordinator of the program. This program ran till 2007 before it was discontinued. Consequently, I was interested for this and many other programs across the years, hence my being dubbed a paper. I remember when I was going to be a teacher, people were saying, you can never stay around. I said, you'll be happy of meeting in room. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the devices that Commercial energy there is easy, are called solar cells. The silicon solar cell was first developed by Jacqueline Fuller and uh, Pearson in 1954. Since then, development of solar cell technology has been remarkable. Efficiencies have improved, manufacturing costs have decreased, and production has increased. For even the most complex and largest the dichromatic generation addition, the single component solar cell is the basic building block. These uh, individual devices are connected in machines to provide the uh, increased voltage or parallel to provide the increased current. Combination in a, uh, in a module and encapsulation, and in a module that encapsulates the cells. Uh, Protecting them from the environment. The connection is a simple structure is called an array. An array field is a group of uh, such areas with support structures providing the electricity. Those are the light plants you see that provide electricity. Contemporary solar cell technology is dominated by silicon, uh, crystallized silicon. Promising alternatives of solar energy utilization. And thin film technologies involving various new materials. The stimulus for thin film to make technology development is supplied by the advantages which it offers, that is, that the decreasing amount of expensive technological material required using local substrates, fabrication techniques, and all that. Various materials other than crystal silicon are being considered. For the preparation of solar cells. The energy gap of the absorbing material is considered the first indication of performance potential for a photovoltaic material. Since the solar spectrum is not constant but varies with wavelengths, then the margin of the energy gap to the solar spectrum vector has led to a number of calculations of the optimum energy gap for a photovoltaic material. And predicts an optimum energy gap of 1.5 to 1.6 electron volts for a semiconductor to be used for solar cell fabrication. Such materials include carbon telluride, carbon cyanide, cobalt, and all the rest. Currently, the highest efficiency can be solar cells are fabricated with carbon cyanide, and lot of efficiencies are still uh, um, obtained. So far, amorphous silicon, uh, cadmium telluride, and copper and silicon in films uh, of PV technologies have been commercialized. In film solar cells based on cadmium telluride have recorded efficiencies close to 90 percent for small area devices and modules of G12 or 40 percent. Two of the major problems. In the use of cardio telluride for cell fabrication, uh, the doping of the material to obtain low resistivity films, as well as the growth of films with improved train sizes. In 1987, I was a fellowship. I, I won a fellowship under the Attachment to Italian Laboratories program of the Abyss Alliance Italian Center for Geophysics that took me to the Solar Devices Laboratory of Poland in Poland, Romeo. On the physics department, University of Parma, Italy. Some activities are ongoing on the development of copper and 
and that data derived came from solar cells. I was able to join with them to develop an innovative method of looking sodium telluride uh, films with atomic nitrogen produced by a plasma process, as well as growing films which improve grain size by using carbon chloride treatment. Such films gave solar cell device of about 20% efficiency and industrial plants to produce cells and models commercially is currently, as I speak, operating permanently and based on this process. So, what we did was able to scale it up and the industry is running at that point. Apart from the celebrated the materials being currently utilized in the development of solar cells and modules, interest continues to report at the attitude on the study and device realization from new materials that have absorptive characteristics similar to problem materials. As stated earlier, materials having for up to energy gaps in the range of 1.4 to 1.6 electron volts to be very adequate for solar cell development. Our interest in my laboratory therapy has been therefore directed towards the development of new materials for the two devices realization. A number of new materials have been developed. This includes properties of fire, ethyl sulfide, the fundamental properties of water sulfur and was studied, and the uh, material was found to have this optical directing at 1.5 electron volts. The high absorption coefficients across the visible. The thin film was subsequently applied for solar cell development with appreciable efficiency. It is interesting to note that Mr. Azi, then Mr. Azi now, Professor Azi, who had this PhD with me working on covert thin solar, is now a good professor at the University of Virginia. I think, I think I'm going to be there. Mr. Azi, I'm not here. That is sulfide was also found to be very absorptive with optical edge at 1.4 for electron volts. And this other parameter properties indicating the probability of this use of solar energy diversity development. Solar studies of the behavior of the material in built up devices currently in pursuit. An alternative to solar cell development is the direct exercise solar cell. In DS, uh, DSSC, it is an organic photovoltaic solar cell development, and this was uh, uh, brought about by Brazil in 1991. It consists of the dye sensitized semi material, often ethylene dioxide, where dye molecules are tied to the molecules as light absorbers. Since ethylene dioxide absorbs light mainly in the ultraviolet, Wavelength region, the efficiency of converting light energy, chemical and uh, electrical energy is low. The photochemical solar cell uh, based on the GM oxide on the particle. Photo electrode is with a light harvesting metal that is on the verge of commercialization, offering, okay, offering an interesting alternative. For the existing silicon uh, based solar cell, as, as well through industrial interest around the technology. The interest in laboratory are different. In recent times, in the development of dye sensitized solar cells using lithium oxide particles interlaced with extracted natural dyes from local plant simulation. This results. From the study continues to be occurring and has produced an index in recent times. Uh, I don't know if you see that guys are now. Okay. The only data protein listed as part of the solar cell structure is uh, made up of mostly of conducting and spectral selective in the outside. Such materials could be deposited using chemical report deposition called human or African techniques. We have, however, developed other similar techniques here at different. 
or the position of soybeans using photolytic processes, we involve the photolysis of the headlight, headlight involved, the short term of data here, and also here as basically low temperature. It may be remarked that the technology of the solar cell development has advanced remarkably, and this application has been made and varied from the firing of handheld calculators to the establishment of solar array plants for electricity production into national grid, to architectural inclusion in highways, light structures, to being part of uh, the roof of passes of buildings, or even an energy source for electric vehicles. And, and I'm sure even on this campus, you see some of the installations for street lighting and all so that's it. Okay, so, so uh, other interests development of solid state batteries and the demand for low power battery operating device on the right. Particularly impossible equipment needing longer operating life with high reliability. Most of the chemical generation stuff might not have to do well, discovered at the end of the 19th century. This is the case of the underneath the outside cell. Like all the chemical devices, this system uses reactive reactions which occur at the interface between electro, electronic and ionic conductors. That is between electrodes and electrolytes. That is, as example, is very important. The first set of solid state microbatteries were fabricated with silver ion conductors. And principally silver iodide, that is rubidium silver iodide. After this, many other standard conductors were tried, and a lot of other conductors were developed. Uh, in this, again, the interest in my laboratory has been geared towards the development of novel materials whose properties can be assessed to so see if they can be adaptable. By the production of all solid state battery structures. To this end, a number of novel internally related materials have been developed and included, and this includes copper lead, bromide, copper lead, diodide, copper lead, diodide, potassium lead, diodide, copper carbon chloride, including chloride, diodide, etc. Since this material of novel synthesis, the combination, the contribution, the region has been a combination of their service structure properties, as to years, they are not optical and electrical properties. Also, all possible solid states, macrobatteries uh, are being developed from some of these materials with the same configurations as proposed. And uh, this is from um, the cells are very excellent discharge and service. We noted that while the production of ionic conduction and activities of all the materials developed above are made at different, the characterization of SPD and CTG and others were carried out in Italy and also with a colleague at the University of Italy in Turkey. Uh, in Turkey. Apart from the use of uh, producer materials that have the interest. The AI disadvantage of three boundaries could also be used for the making materials for the development of batteries. These are batteries were recognized as one of the most viable rechargeable battery systems in around. And with that, we are able to also enter the new materials that can develop the batteries. One of the batteries I learned like so. I was again able to win a partnership through the trip program for the city that enabled me to visit the number of and participants in the CST, CNR, and also the clinical physical, the Rasital in Bavia, Bavia, Italy, where I work on the rocket chair that will battery system going on. Uh, 
I'm trying to the first two things at least. I was involved with the development of what is your time batteries, disorder researchers for ourselves. A parcel design, the negative electrode was vision manganese to left. The electrode was one one ratio compound composition of vision, proposed glass, biomodium carbonide, and vanadium oxide that can be intercalated to the lithium ions reversibly was chosen as the positive electrode. The cell was realized by the spotting of three films of all of the component materials to give a total cell thickness of two microns. We know the thickness of air. The figure of air is about 50 microns. We can make a device of two microns. You can see how thin that device is, and it's a backing that will work your mobile phone. A thin two microns is a backing then. On that structure was realized and at appropriate recyclability. The battery computer has already been produced commercially. So, and uh, and environment uh, high temperature gas sensors, the last two have been involved some work on gas sensors. Try increase the laboratory in the development of high temperature gas sensors. Using appropriate technology. The selected sensor device structure is the two dimensional and the structural film, film being deposited by the innovative autonomy and position technology, which has the capacity to deposit monolayer infants. We have noted that our group, of which I'm the people of the state, recently won the 25 million naira natural research foundation grant. My teaching and administrative experience, because some of what I did have been highlighted, but all the same, I'm just going to lose some of this. I've been being trained in the art of device development as my son from my PhD training. I was initially involved with the teaching. Of the integrated circuit technology, early stage school electronics, quantum electronics, and a summary of other subjects that included electronic circuit theory, solid stage physical electronics, and medical method in engineering, applied in stage one and two. My class size varied from four students in the quantum electronics class to over a thousand for the mathematical methods in engineering class. And the applied physics. One can then appreciate what we go through in our universities as the teaching of very large classes, especially when the schools are handicapped with the provision of education facilities. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I should subscribe. By the interviews at my return from my PhD training in October 1991. I was made to understand that for me to progress on the job, I must register fully as an engineer. I subsequently got the Nigerian Student of Engineering uh, registration in 1982 and Council for the Registration of Engineers in Nigeria in 1992. I continue to find the engineering practice interesting and engineering and stimulating. Over the years, I've taken on important academic and uh, challenging and difficult assignments, and I've performed them successfully, thank God. An evidence of this was my appointment as initially the head of the Department of Electronic and Electronic Engineering in August 2000, and as full head from August 2001 to October 2004. Through appropriate management of materials and human resources, and working with others, we were able to bring Remarkable changes to the department. This kind of the academic program was renamed. New program, very program, continuing with the young was studied for the national young courses, army, navy, and air force, and then giving to the award of PGD and excellence for the certificates of the National University in these programs. 
the programs are still running. As in 2000, of the purpose of the community, in the August 2008 and July 1912, I made it a point of the to ensure that all the departments in faculty build their programs. Equally, the subject was the Department of Technology and the Conference, which still runs to date. With the financial support of members of the Excel Foundation, as well as the Department of Technology, essentially, was uh, okay, yeah. okay. So, Robert of the that started the tech itself and uh, were able to make some progress with that. So, sorry for it was possible to commission Price Modern House Organization to work on the assessment of the university potentials towards the creation of the university based knowledge park. The fiscal laying on management scope of the park was done in April 2012 along the Bangladeshia uh, Expressway with late of our multi-figurative performing the foundation phase of the moon. Unfortunately, because of the uh, lack of interest of subsequent administrations, I'm not exactly a good sir. So that we can do some museum of university. The site of the university knowledge park is now expanded. It may be noted that while I was there, I was part of the university delegation to the University of Kentucky to establish collaborative efforts with the university for programs in arts, engineering, agriculture, and medicine. Also, during my tenure as dean, I was a member of the Nigerian delegation with members from the five Nigerian universities. And this is based on selected South African universities and the Organization of Research and Innovation. The visit was under the auspices of UNESCO with Professor Mrs. Tugunbuke our then BBC academic, as the leader of the Nigerian delegation. Equally important was my involvement with the establishment of the master's degree program and writing of the curriculum of the courses in nuclear science and engineering. Under the species of the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission. It is interesting to note that even though I was discovering with the Sweden from the Energy Center for Energy Research and Development at the Institute and what they are going to be doing. However, several different staff as a member of our governing board and council, representing my department, the, the faculty and of technology and indeed university at different times. It may also be noted that apart from being involved in the writing of the curriculum for the MSc program in Nigeria, I have spent some time also having academic duties to at different times to the circling nuclear research facility, the largest nuclear facility in France, and the other national laboratories, other nuclear also deprived the US in nuclear engineering matters. At the US level, as the member of and chairman of collective of a number of uh, committees, many of these are listed. Also, uh, so many of them are coming. So, also at national and international levels, also what my contributions are on all my countries as well as. I just want to hear your remarks and recommendations. Like I mentioned during my inaugural in June 2006, the Center of Doctor Technology, that is my colleagues program, was started at this university in the Department of Electric and Electric Engineering in 1973 by late Mr. The establishment, the established laboratories succeeded in the production of hospital and transistor devices. As well as capillaries, skin, the outside skin, and carbon composites resistors. Products from the laboratory were widely displayed at the number of science and trade fairs 
and execution across and executions across the country between 1975 and 1986. The technology was silicon based. Also, the research field was mostly in nature, the major of electric engineers, physics, and tech. As I also remarked earlier, it may be said that the laboratory came ahead of its time. When we consider the situation of things in the Nigerian environment, laboratories of this nature have mostly become the vector of national scientific development in other, in other nations of the world, but not so in Nigeria. For example, a laboratory of the same character was started in Tunisia about the same time in 1973. The end product of that laboratory today are complete built up systems of television, mobile phones, and radio sets. Unfortunately, if a laboratory was started for once and has become a cause of what a lightly devices laboratory would be like, unfortunately. This has been possible because this few days, Nigeria lacks a definite policy on electronic material devices consumption. Half-hearted attempts were made in the United States to compile the potential across Nigeria for human and material resources for the establishment of national and coordinate capabilities. I remember the big people reports put together and um, Presented to the federal government by the late Wilson Rema Ibo, late committee. In the report, a number of decisions and if especially were marked out and recommended for establishment of re or enforcement of centers of excellence in the pursuit of microelectronic devices and, uh, and science, and science development, development. Unfortunately, nothing has come out of that. Now that that fund is coming online to support research in allied areas, I do hope one point may be made available for the value of this area which will be built. It will very much be of service to the IT industry. As a fellow of the Nigeria Society of Nigeria, I'm aware that a policy document has for quite some years, maybe before the federal government, set the national policy on material. I wish to plead to the federal government to have a quick look at this policy document and approve it for implementation so that a nation, so that as a nation, we can start to have a guided focus on material development and hence be able to be in league with the developed nations of the world. As a former president of the Solar Energy Society of Nigeria, and the Council for Electric Energy in Nigeria, as well as being a fellow of the Solar Energy Society of Nigeria, I'm happy to note that the adoption of renewable energy devices, especially solar cell devices, have been increasing in leaps and bounds across the nation, and especially for street lighting, other community, and other applications. I wish to congratulate the Energy Commission of Nigeria, I think they are also online. For the passage of this of the third energy master plan by the federal government. I think uh, we, we all follow the news. The vice president was already in the US recently on the energy plan of Nigeria, and this is also a follow up on this third energy plan of this country. The news of photovoltaic devices and an energy source is a component of the approved document. So this will be a good uh, be to a good extent encourage development of the required case for student cell development production in Nigeria with the training programs now being put in place by a number of agencies and public operators in Nigeria, the life and use of renewable energy devices promise to be right There was an initial uh, they talking about the adoption of solar energy because we had a number of works uh, 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 deploying solar across the nation. And as they deployed within a month or two, the other thing will just back. And so, but thank God, 
churches are now being held, and many people are now taking a wiser to be used of solar energy. A concluding remark. I've endeavored in this lecture to give a synopsis of some of the activities I've undertaken in my journey to the study and application of materials for the development of electronic devices. I have to a level mentioned the activities taking place in our semi-global laboratory area at CIPE. Although our laboratory was started with the pursuit of developing devices based on silicon technology, it has been possible for us to extend this into other materials and consequently devices built up from the new and upcoming materials. While one is happy that we have been able to make considerable contributions in terms of study and device uh, development from these new materials, it will still have been our joy to see the laboratory active in these major silicon based devices. What is required is adequate funding and presumably a lot of it. In most other uh, countries where there have been great strides in development of electronics for IT and other applications. The government and the state corporations have had to put in a lot of support. I can only hope that this will be the case for Nigeria in the no distant future. I will not end this lecture without appreciating all the individuals and institutions that have been of tremendous help to me and this my academic journey. A lot of them are in the past today. In this auditorium, I've been able to uh, appreciate some of them. I'm grateful to them all from the depth of my heart. I appreciate all my siblings. Unfortunately, they all are late now for supporting me all through my academic career. I especially appreciate the professor who sponsored my way to secondary school university. I'm grateful to the authorities of the University of Hitler, now from a lower university, for my training programs, since I've been labeled as a trusted person. I think it's appropriate to appreciate the efforts of the authorities of the Azul Salam Nigeria Center for the Students, as we suggested, and most particularly, the consultation of the two program for the wonderful encouragement of my academic development through the provision of a number of this is relations. And like I said earlier, I'm also very grateful to the authorities of the university. The last few years, like I said, have been uh, an, a sabbatical visiting professor. An adjunct professor, that's I appreciate the addition of this group for all their support. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful to all my mentors, both living and those that have gone to the live video, for shaping the course of my journey. I appreciate my mentees for the challenges. I do appreciate members of my family for putting together this lecture and the celebration of my retirement. God bless you all. The last lecture of Professor Engineer Adela Titi Lai. Thank you very much. Well, I was uh, cooking was making his uh, speech. 
we are trying to come up with distinguished guests. Mark Taylor. And then you will permit me the chance huh, to just mention a few uh, before we pull this event to a close. Um, I'd like to recognize the University Librarian at uh, the person of Dr. Kuntua, as we close it. The former Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration was seated somewhere there in the person of also Chris Angela. I would also like to announce and mention that we have a royal father and uh, honorary in this hall in the person of Kabiese and Oluri Badebo, the CEO of Mexico. <laughs> Kabiese. It requests you to know that uh, Kabiese and Oluri usually visit the Faculty of Technology during our conferences, and then uh, they have handsomely uh, assisted I'd like to also mention that we have members of the CAC Vector ably represented here. Would you please rise on your feet, wave your hands as you are sitting here. Yes. Also, led by the chaplain of the also chapel, in person of um, the very Reverend Dr. Babalola, the members of also chapel. Above and all, you can be raised and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Okay, um, sorry for that. <laughs> Well, which are uh, so many, so numerous to mention your name, 
Um, would like you to raise your feet and then sing. Wave, 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 wave. We are friends. Well, Richard. Raise your hands. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, we are finally there. The, the chairman's closing room. Thank you very much, uh, the MC. A round of applause for our MC. Well, I just um, I noticed that the University of Piaro is there. Piaro is rise out for recognition. Uh, you will all agree with me that uh, Professor Kuku, Baba Sevichi, <laughs> Though he's retiring, he's not tired. He's still as green as when he was um, uh, at the Imperial College of the Science uh, and Technology, London, studying with Mr. Green. He's still as green as then. A round of applause for our lecturer. Um, he has uh, made uh, some points. While delivering this lecture, the ones that concern the university have been noted, uh, especially the issue of this uh, knowledge pack. I want to assure you that this current vice chancellor, Professor A. Bamire, will look into it and resuscitate that effort. Um, we have risen to him. We are celebrating him. It's not ending here. We are going to the reception after this place. Yes. yes. Uh, so we you are all invited to that place again. <laughs> not all. Uh, and okay, okay, I think uh, it's okay. So for, for doing this, we want to appreciate you, our lecturer, for giving us. Uh, the opportunity to bring from the way of the knowledge a round of applause for Kuni Sofu. So, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Pierre Slavin, I want to thank you for your attention since we started this program. I want to uh, thank our fathers here, um, Professor Flavor Rodi, the former Vice Chancellor, and we recognize, I want to especially recognize you again. That's the person that first uh, introduced me to administration. I didn't even know that I would become a deputy vice chancellor administration. He introduced me to administration in this university by appointing me acting uh, HOD uh, when he was uh, the vice chancellor. We are recognized. Uh, Baba you know, welcome Sam, once again. A round of applause for Baba. The Kabi is me, and it's here. Well, uh, your is here. Uh, in Yoruba, you don't cry for Kabi is here. We say Kabi is here. Kabi is here, please. Well, I want to come here. You just stand up so that we can do the right thing. Let's, let's appreciate our Kabi is here. We are welcome to our peace. We appreciate everybody on behalf of the Vice Chancellor. Thank you. And I wish you very much to back to your destination. Thank you and God bless you. Um, with the permission of the chair and the celebrant, the honorary of the Kuku family, um, Olorobu, Dr. Sonny Olorobu Shon Kuku, who would love you to see one or two words as we invite him to speak on behalf of the family. Thank you. 
This reminds me of when Professor is that a brother and my elder brother, Professor Rebecca, who gave this inaugural address. And he was talking about this. Was it a G theory or a theory? And we were all looking so. Academic and not academic, non academic, kindly rise. 
as he walked through this podium, we will all rise to sing the great of the anthem because the second round of today is also a great of the So I'm going to see who does not know how to sing that song. As we go, one, two, three, go. Great event, great event, Africa was beautiful and was conscious in the land progressing, and looked at it based on oppression, for we never had one every and culture.
To la 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 